Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. A really popular way to edit things in all kinds of Windows and Macintosh programs is to uh, select the entity and then right click. And when you do that, you come up with commands that are specific to the entity. Here I've selected text, right clicked, and we have the edit text command we can access, check spelling, explode text, and set the annotative object scale. If I right click something else like this dimension, I get a different set of commands up here. Further down, all these commands are the same every time you right click. Here's a block and I'll uh, right click it after I've selected it and here's what you can do with the block. Now I'm going to right click a different spot. This time I'm going to right click the block but a grip that's highlighted in the block. And then you can see that these are commands specific to the grip and not to the block. It turns out you can customize what you see in the menu when you right click an entity. So for example, I'm going to right click this polyline and notice that there's just the edit polyline command now. I'm going to want to add also the join command so I can join polylines together. Here's how you do it. First of all, right click and choose customize and then go into the menus tab and below main menus you find context menus and this then lists all the different entities to which uh, special items in the shortcut menu have been attached. Now let's take a look here. We had clicked on right clicked on text and there's the four commands there. We uh, right clicked on block and there's the ones there. And finally uh, there's the single command for uh, polylines. Now I'm going to get the join command from over here on the, under the available tools section. And as it turns out, uh, the join command is under modify. So there's join. And I'm just going to simply drag it over here to the uh, lightweight polyline object. And there it is added into it. So click OK to close this dialog box. And now when I select the polyline right click, there's that join command. So to make sure it works, I'm going to run it right now. Click join and ask the entities to join. I've already drawn this line that connects and press enter and now the line is joined to the polyline. Now that's how simple it is to edit shortcut menus. In the next part of this video I'll just give you a few tips and tricks to keep in mind. Now there are a few tricky aspects to uh, context menus. Let me show you some of them now. I'm going to select this dimension and this line. So that's two objects selected. And now when I right click, there's nothing special there. And that's because obviously you can't have commands specific to an object when you've got two or more selected. Let me press escape a couple times, get out of that. And to prove that to you, I'm going to select this uh, dimension. And there you can see dimensioning uh, commands. Now, when I select this uh, line, there's also no commands. And that's because not all entities have uh, special uh, commands assigned to them. How do we find out which ones they are? Well, let, let's take a look again in the customizing dialog box and uh, back into the context menu. So here's the um, all the objects that uh, have uh, commands assigned to them and you'll see that the line command is not there. Now, one other tip to show you. Notice that there is a polyline object and an LW polyline object. What's the difference? Well, the uh, light, LW is short for lightweight and uh, that's the current type of polyline. That's the type of polyline you're going to see in pretty much all drawings today uh, created in, uh, in BricsCAD. The other one that might you might think would be the one to uh, customize, in fact, you won't see any results in that shortcut menu because uh, polylines are an old form of polyline in old versions of, uh, of the DWG file format and uh, you don't see them anymore except if it's a really old drawing that you open up. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. 
Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.